We are going to get some amazing processor numbers on Galaxy S24 Ultra and it is now confirmed how much speed we are going to get out of a new processor. Galaxy S24 Ultra will going to feature a Snapdragon Agent 3 processor but there is a surprise. It will be an overclocked version of a normal Snapdragon Agent 3 as we get the real benchmark numbers to compare both processors. But this new one is from Nubia Red Magic 9 where it has the same pineapple motherboard meaning Snapdragon Agent 3. But the numbers are quite different where it scores 1596 single core score and 5977 multi core score. Compared to S24 Plus score where we get 2233 single core score and 6661 multi core score. Big difference in both devices benchmarks and there is a reason. As the clock speed of normal Snapdragon Agent 3 is 3.19 GHz, but the overclocked version of the Snapdragon Agent 3 comes with 3.3 GHz and the number of cores and their formation is also different on S24+. Plus. This means the Qualcomm and Samsung are going to continue the partnership for the processor of Galaxy S series devices and this new processor might feature in the next generation of foldable phones. Thing to notice, Qualcomm will also launch the similar clock speed processor to feature in other devices later in 2024. But Galaxy S24 lineup will be the first ones to feature this new processor. If you guys are too happy about the Snapdragon Agent 3, then here's another news. Samsung also going to put Exynos 2400 in S24 Ultra, where it comes with 10 core CPU and 12 cores GPU. It will be twice as fast as the last generation Exynos 2200, but for now it is not clear about the power efficiency of Exynos 2400. The new displays of Galaxy S24 Ultra makes all the headlines and things are going in the right direction but there are some changes which need to be reversed. First, Samsung is putting flat display in the S24 Ultra and this is how it looks like. But the problem is the wider frame of S24 Ultra. Can you see the difference? The frame of S24 Ultra matches the bezels on S24 Ultra which makes S24 Ultra a wider phone with the 79mm width and also looks bad if you get the black version of S24 Ultra. If you get the black one then the bezels will look even bigger. One good thing Samsung is going to do is the symmetrical bezels. All four bezels will be same and the new technology is here M13 which will boost the peak brightness on Galaxy S24 Ultra at least 2500 nits. Samsung will going to release S24 Ultra in Feb next year. If you guys want to see the first look of Galaxy S24 Ultra, then you guys should watch this video and I hope you guys are subscribed. I'll see you next time. Till then, peace out.